I'm Thalia Shuris with Pushing Green in suburban Maryland, and joining me here is Rick Peters of Solar Energy Services, putting a solar thermal installation into this very home. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, thank you for joining me here. Glad to be here. Uh, how do you describe what solar thermal is really all about? Well, solar thermal is basically solar heating. So it includes solar water heating, solar space heating, solar pool heating. Those are all um, um, components of the category of solar thermal. And today we're installing a solar water heating system. And what is, what is the benefit of doing that? Essentially, you're not going to use the tank that was there? That's right. Uh, in this case, we're going to replace the customer's existing tank, which is old and needed to be replaced anyway, with a solar water heater, um, a tank that has a, an electric element in the top to do backup heating, and then a heat exchanger inside the tank in the bottom um, where we transmit solar energy into the water. So essentially what you're going to have here is a system that is going to heat the water by using the sun. That's right. And how does it work from the roof to the bottom? Well, we put, uh, in this case, two uh, flat plate solar collectors, uh, which are um, basically big um, 4x8 or 4x10 uh, collectors, so about the size of a piece of plywood in terms of the footprint. Um, in this case, we have two 4x10s. It's a fairly large family. And that those collectors um, basically have a copper absorber plate inside them and some um, glazed uh, glass on top. And... Uh, the sun heats those copper absorbers and a, a fluid runs through them um, down to the tank through the heat exchanger inside the tank and then fluid goes back up to the top to be reheated so it's just a continuous process when the when the sun is out and the, and the collectors are warmer than the bottom of the tank then the system is on and circulating that fluid. Is it going to be able to heat all of the water needs of the house? Uh, typically, if the system sized properly, it provides three quarters of their annual water heating energy. Um, so that's almost 100% in the summertime, and you know more like 30 or 40% in the wintertime, um, and you know uh, quite a bit in the spring and fall. What makes a difference? Is it because the sun goes down, and what happens well, when the sun goes down? Yeah, certainly. Um, uh, the the days are are much shorter, and the sun is much lower in the wintertime. So um, there's just less opportunity to to heat them. Of course, the, the air is colder, the, the incoming water to the tank is colder uh, in the winter time too. So the system does produce uh, significantly less energy in the, in the, um, the coldest, uh, darkest winter months. But actually in the spring and fall, even though the days aren't as long as summer, spring and fall, because the air is so clear, it really produces a lot of energy.